All right, guys. <clears throat> um, as you can see, my hunting blind or hunting stand is in the shop on running gear now. I mentioned in my bailing video the other day that I didn't like where it was sitting, so I decided to move it. And I was talked into just putting on a running gear so it can always be moved. Um, I'll explain a little bit of that here in a moment. It is Sunday night. And in my body tells me it should be 9 o'clock, but it's really only 8 o'clock. So, yeah. Um, went to Menards this morning, got a bunch of pieces of uh, corner trim. So I can put corner trim on here and you can see my steel doesn't quite come over to the one side um, so I'm going to use a piece of corner trim to go up there but it is in the shop um, I brought it back here because I want to try and finish it um, tomorrow morning possibly or Tuesday morning not for sure maybe tomorrow night um, I want to get it finished in here and then get it out to the out to its location um, early this week so it's out there in the dairy get used to it but I need to change this tire because as you can see it's rubbing on there and really all I need is a smaller tire um, so yeah it's uh, back in the shop um, I need to finish putting screws in some of these this OSB board corner trim on uh, I need to run a to town in the morning and get that curtain stuff for the windows and I think for right now I'm just gonna use some of my drop OSB board to cover up these windows um, and then maybe what I'll do yeah if I can find plexiglass at Fleet Farm tomorrow maybe I'll get a couple pieces of make windows and just use the OSB board for a window frame not for sure on that yet but I'm gonna get the cloth tomorrow morning for the windows, the stuff you can see through but it's camel um, and then if nothing else just put OSB board on and then I need to cut the rest of the frames like that for around the windows um, yeah and then sweep it all out I need to try and find a piece of uh, carpet to put on the floor in here um, that's kind of what's going on and then I don't know if I'm going to build shelves in here right away or not I do have some old lumber out back that maybe I could use. Um, my plan is, is the nine days of deer season, I'm pretty much going to live in this thing as much as I can. Um, but anyways, yeah, the hunting stand or hunting blind, whatever you want to call it, is back in the shop. Um, I'm going to work on this, and then um, I'm going to... Take you guys outside quick. I don't know if you'll be able to see. Um, with my light, you'll be able to see. I should have done this earlier in the day, but as you can see, there's the combine. It's all ready to rock and roll. I'm hoping tomorrow or one day this week to get rolling on that custom job. Um, so that's just a little update on that. Um, basically, I just wanted to make a quick update video tonight quick um, what's going on. Um, combine's ready to rock and roll. Um, my buddy called this afternoon and said that Myers, which is a local place that we take grain to, um, that they'll be running full tilt again on Monday. I, I don't know if they've had all their trucks hauling down to the river or what, but apparently they got more room again. So um, I guess tomorrow um, they'll be running back to normal. So if guys are running, and people are bringing stuff in they will stay open till midnight if they have to so kinda hoping to get that custom combining job done this week so stay tuned for some combining videos um, I did 
get my hay raked and baled. I did not make any video of that. Um, figure there's probably only so many videos a guy wants to see in a year of uh, baling and raking, but uh, the hay is raked and baled. Bales are still out in the field. Um, I need to haul bales home. And I need to finish this deer blind. I need to, uh, um, I've got some fencing to do this week. Um, I did make a quick, I think I mentioned it, one of the hunting blind videos or whatever. I think it was the first one, maybe it was the second one. It must have been the second one of, uh, I was taking the one field and making it 15 acres again instead of 10. I need to get working on that fencing project and get that done. Cows need to get locked in the dry lot this week so I can get this back out there and I have some manure to get hauled out. Um, and then I'm probably going to, once I get that fencing job done, roll up that poly wire and then I'm going to make it so the cows can't go all the way to the back of that field back there again. And I'm going to haul manure in the back. So I've got that to do. And... There's all kinds of stuff to do. That's just off the top of my head. So, um, I guess this is just kind of an update video. And if there's anything anybody wants to see with this stuff that I've got going on this week, let me know. Um, if I know people are interested in videos of that stuff, I will make videos. Otherwise, I won't. I'll just get the task done and be done with it. Um, so, yeah, fencing finished the deer blind haul bales home um yeah so like i say if anybody's interested let me know i'll make videos otherwise uh i won't and i had some requests for some equipment videos uh you guys have seen most of the equipment but i guess i will try and make a video of all the equipment one of these days um yeah it's Um, I wish I had the other tractors bought that I want. Make a video of everything all at once, but I don't, so we'll just, uh, try and make a video of what we have, go over some of the stuff, so. Um, but anyways, guys, this is, uh, this is where she's sitting. It is in the shop, and, uh, I put it on the running gear because if that way you change your mind, you can just move it. Moved. Um, this way, need be I can always move it to a different spot. But a uh, little quick video or explaining why I moved it. Um, when you were sitting in the stand, if I looked out that window, all I could see was the house. Um, so I really couldn't shoot out that window. And if you looked out this window, you look back at those south woods. And the problem was those woods get shaded about an hour and a half before it get dark out. You couldn't see in them. Um, so I decided that I'm going to move the stand over across the field of those south woods and park this in the woods or right next to the woods so I'm in the shade. That way I'm not looking into a shade dark spot. I'm in the shaded dark spot looking out into a brighter spot. Um, and then it gives me more more shooting area where I you know I'm not shooting at the house or anything so so yeah and then I was just gonna take the skid loader lift this back out of the ground and move it and set it in, the, in you know drill four new holes and set it back in the ground and a bunch of people just talked me out of doing that just put on running gear that way it's portable you can move again and I agreed with them that you know this way I can if I don't like where it's sitting I can move it or if I need to do maintenance on this, I can bring it back to the shop to work on it. Um, before deer hunting, I do want to build shelves around the top up here where I can store stuff. And I have a Mr. Heater that's going to sit in the corner. And my plan is I'm going to use a grate, like a grate out of a grill. I'm going to mount in here right above the Mr. Heater so I can warm food up on it if I want to. And then I'm probably just going to get a composting toilet to have in here. Um, basically that way I can pretty much live in here all day long and have what I need and be able to hunt all day. So, 
So yeah, that's kind of why this is back in the shop on running gear. That way I can just finish it in here. Um, and then it's, if I don't like where it is, as you can see, it's not square. I should have built it just on the running gear to begin with, but I didn't. So now it's not totally square where when I took it out there it was, but it is what it is. So I guess it's not a Cadillac, but so yeah, guys, anyways, if there's anything you want to see, let me know. Um, and I'll get back to this when I get working on it. So uh, please comment, rate, subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for commenting. And we'll catch you guys on the next one.